I think the biggest difference uh, between Sherry Bustos and myself is uh, I'm more for a limited government giving power to the people uh, and really about uh, helping out the middle class and the working poor and creating jobs in our area and not just talking about it, I actually have a proven track record. I think the biggest uh, thing that people are really disappointed about is a lot of the promises that she made to the people of the district. Uh, for example, when she said she was going to give back 10% of her pay uh, and she decided that she wasn't going to, she said she misspoke. And then also during the government shutdown, uh, she said she wasn't going to take her pay and she did. And then I think one of the biggest ones is when she voted to not have to uh, participate, uh, have members of Congress participate in the Affordable Health Care Act. Uh, I'm a firm believer that if you're going to put a bill out there that you should have to participate exactly the same way as the people in the country. I think the biggest problem with Congress, uh, the dysfunction, this is the most dysfunctional uh, Congress in the history of the United States of America, but uh, is, is the unwillingness to work together. I think too many times what they do is they want to fight as Democrat or Republican uh, rather than come to the table with solutions as Americans. And then also another big problem is, is building relationships with the United States Senate uh, to where you can get some bills passed and onto the President's desk. You know, the biggest thing that uh, I did while I was in Congress uh, is I actually worked with uh, Congressman David Lopesack over in Iowa, a strong Democrat, but we actually got some things done for the Rock Island Arsenal and a couple of the I-74 bridge, we got that moving forward. Uh, the biggest thing I would do differently is I try to build some relationships with the Senate side. Uh, you know, it's something that's really important. It's all about relationships and it's all about Americans. You know, I think uh, the reason that uh, folks should take a look at voting for me is I come from uh, humble beginnings. You know, I was born and raised in the west end of Rock Island. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot. You know, Dad had to uh, work a few jobs. He was a bartender. He had a couple of apartments. Uh, but I think the biggest difference uh, between the two of us is that uh, I've never forgotten where I come from. You know, and I believe in, in people. Uh, I don't believe in, in the big government system. And, you know, I think if people really take a look at me as a, a small business owner, a husband, a dad of 10 kids, uh, you know, living the American dream, the middle class, you know, we don't have a whole lot, uh, but we've saved and, and watched every penny and dime that we've ever spent. And, you know, we're actually living the, the American dream. And, you know, that's what I want for others out there. I want to be able to maximize their potential to get them to also be able to live the American dream. I'm Bobby Schilling. You know, I really appreciate you to take a hard look at uh, voting and supporting me. I think that if we look and look, you know, for our parents and our grandparents, you know, they had it better than their parents, and then what we have going on is better than they had. But what I'm concerned truly about is the next generation, our kids and our grandkids, and we've got to fix this mess. It's not about being Democrat or Republican. It's about being American and doing the right thing for our people. So on November the 4th, I really greatly appreciate your support, Bobby Schilling for Congress, because I believe that I'm the better choice.